This is an introduction to using the dual arch tray, commonly called the triple tray. Here at the school we use a metal dual arch tray because it's considered more rigid and less likely to have distortions. There's also a plastic triple tray and we're using that for provisional crowns. Once you're ready for the impression of your tooth, you try in the tray after fitting in the mesh. Have the patient close. Be sure they're closing properly in normal occlusion. Check the contralateral side and find a reference point. The tray should fit passively. You should be able to move it freely. And again, check your reference point on the contralateral side. And once you've done that, you're ready. Take that out of the mouth, put the adhesive on the mesh. Then you're going to get the tooth ready for the impression. Take your attraction cord out, dry the area, and put your syringe, your light body material around the tooth, put your heavy body material on both sides of the dual arch tray, insert it into the patient's mouth, have them close together, check their occlusion, and look at your reference point point. make sure they're biting together like they normally do. Once the material is set, you remove it, hold it up to the light. If the patient was in occlusion, or occluding normally for them, you should be able to see light where the material is thin. If not, they may have not have closed properly. There shouldn't be any rub areas on the side. They shouldn't have bitten into the frame. And hopefully you didn't put the handle on the wrong side or they won't be able to close at all. Then you're in trouble. So look at your tray, check for accuracy. Everything looks good. Then it's ready to go to the lab. Now, once it goes to the lab, they're going to make your dye, send them to you for trimming. Be sure you don't throw that tray away. The metal triple tray can be reused after it's sterilized. The plastic triple tray that you're going to be used for provisional crowns is basically the same. You go through the same steps and the same evaluation for accuracy. I hope this makes it easier for you to see how to use the dual arch tray and the triple tray. If you have any problems with this on the, in the clinic, please ask one of us to help. That's what we're here for.